It's April 1992. Riots have left the streets of Los Angeles on fire. Businesses are destroyed. Those not torched or looted are still seriously impacted by the chaos. Enter Phil and Peggy Holland. It was the spark that literally was a wake-up call for us. We thought we could help rebuild LA our way. The way we wanted, we would go into Compton, which was the center of the riot, and we would start teaching people how to start businesses. Phil had published a book, The Entrepreneur's Guide, about the lessons learned from his years running successful and one not so successful business. The retired founder and CEO of Yum Yum Donuts teamed with his wife, Peggy, a retired teacher and school principal, to turn that book into a curriculum. Two years later, the first My Own Business Inc. course debuted in Compton. In 2000, Moby went online, becoming the first free, comprehensive, and graded online course on how to start a business. More than 40 million students have accessed the coursework, which is now available in 15 languages and has worldwide reach. The Moby curriculum has fostered entrepreneurship around the globe and has been utilized by Cisco, the World Bank, and the Small Business Administration. In 2012, the Hollands faced the question, how could Moby live on after they were gone? I received an email from the president of Moby uh, that the Hollands were looking for a place to continue their legacy and uh, that there was a generous gift uh, that went along with it. The Hollands evaluated more than 50 organizations, corporations, nonprofit groups, associations, foundations, and universities. We were interested in a school that had programs going already beyond their academic curriculum of sharing their tools and their expertise in helping businesses. Santa Clara happened to be a perfect fit. We went and we um, saw the campus. We visited with Father Inc. And then we had lunch with the um, students and some of the faculty. It was really just so, so reassuring that we were making the right choices. They had a very strong interest in helping others. And so just from the very beginning, there was a, their, the ethos in which they work matched the ethos of Santa Clara. The Holland's gift to Santa Clara includes the intellectual capital of the Moby Online Curriculum, a website that receives more than half a million visits per month, which the university will operate, immediate financial support, and a trust valued at more than $10 million to provide support in perpetuity. This transformational gift will establish a new Moby Institute within the Center for Innovation and Entrepreneurship in the Levy School of Business and the university will continue to offer Moby online curriculum free of charge. Having the Moby Institute opens up a lot of new opportunities for us. We can bring in experts from our campus and from other campuses to develop new curriculum. Uh, we can also design programs where our students can really get in the trenches, have an experiential learning opportunity with new entrepreneurs both here and abroad. The Moby philosophy is aimed at helping people realize their full potential in the world of business and commerce. The Jesuit philosophy of education is to help each individual reach his or her full potential in terms of the talents that they have. There's a great synergy here between the two philosophies. Part of the Santa Clara 2020 plan is an emphasis on entrepreneurship and innovation and service to humanity. This is clearly aligned with that goal. We're helping start businesses that create jobs, create jobs for people who need them the most in areas that need jobs the most. The vision of Santa Clara 2020 is to expand the reach of the university by deepening its economic resources. To do that, we need the resources of a gift like from Moby, from what Phil and Peggy have seen in us, that they will partner and enable us then to have a greater impact on the world through our students. The future plan for the My Own Business Institute, uh, we thought we're so much in keeping with what we have in mind for the future of Moby. So, yeah, it's like, you know, Allstate, 
we feel, you know, it's in good hands. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs>